Montana Security License If you want to obtain a Montana Security License, you must comply with some rules. Here are the main requirements to obtain a private guard certificate, be at least 18 years old and a US citizen or permanent resident have a contract with a company in the field have a good physical shape and be mentally stable have no drug addictions have no types of conviction. Those licensees, who were convicted of a felony or crime, are disqualified. If they've received pardons and restored their competency, they can still be qualified. Special training is essential. It is possible to receive from the contract company. It's essential for unarmed guards to be well aware of laws and regulations on arresting. During the courses, much attention is paid to covering topics on weapons. Here it's very important to interact with the public, not stereotype people, and remain neutral. The requirements are a little different for armed guards. They use an additional permit. For this, they attend special courses. The training includes topics like firearm familiarization, shooting, safe handling, etc. It generally covers the following themes, role, legal aspects, and patrol response to incidents surveillance operation and documentation first aid overview working with the public. The overall practice consists of 16 hours. There is an 8 hour refreshing course as well. The Department of Justice and the FBI carry out a background check for each licensee. Fingerprinting is essential, especially for armed officers. Those who have former convictions will not be able to work as guards. The fee is $27.25. There can also be extra payments for fingerprinting and other additional services. To complete your application, you must have at hand the following documents, birth certificate and photographs copy of instruction transcripts firearm certification copies of diplomas three character references. The fee is $100. For weapon permits, it is $150. Take into consideration that the fee is non-refundable. It takes the board about a month to process the request. You need to renew it annually. Card holders get a notice 60 days before the expiry date. You had better not let it expire. Otherwise, you might face some penalties. You can do it 24-7 through the online system. In case you need some help from the staff, apply till 5 p.m. every working day. Thanks for watching. Visit LicenseSearch.org for more information. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.